Oh! <laughs> it's cold. It weren't. It weren't when I was in the car. It's nice and sunny when I was in the car. One has developed a little bit of a throat infection. Yes, due to giving up smoking, perhaps, and sitting by a wood burner most of the day, perhaps. I really don't know. But today, <laughs> this this easterly wind is blowing in at 30 mile an hour and it is bleak and it is springtime but this is the beauty of spring right here on the North Norfolk coast. If you look right out there, there's, as you can see the tide is out, it will come in and when it comes in it comes pretty fast and it fills this stafe really quickly. Oh there's some ladies doing some crabbing. <laughs> you can come down dangle a bit of bait because there's loads of crabs all along here. There is. And that is a wicked looking boat. That surely is. So it is. This is what we like. Us Norfolk folk like the start of springtime where we're getting rid of the winter and summer is coming in. But today, <laughs> of all days, well yesterday they predicted rain for, for today, which is Friday. It is. So forgive me for shouting. I'm a bit chesty, a bit phlegmy. Oh man, it is wicked. And I'm not the only person there. There's a few people there. There's a few cars in the car park. Where's my car? I have parked flowers over there, just in the Loden Bay, because I've actually come to Wells to try. Can you hear that sound? It is awesome. I recommend um, maybe the second or third week of spring in Norfolk on North Norfolk coast. Now, Wells is as far as North Norfolk, I dare come. I daren't go that way. No, I haven't got the wallet for it. And my wallet do start kicking me if I go that way. So I have to go from here. I'm going back that way to Cromer. I'm going south. I've got the wallet for that. Oh, man, but it is wicked. Many, many, many. Well, around about the 60s, the 70s and the 80s, up until the 90s, Wells, no one come here. No one come here. It was really quiet. And all that you done, you came here, you hired a boat for 50p. You rode it right out there. To where that digger is and that is where you do your cockling okay now today you have great big trawler ships out there doing the cockling they send all them cockles whelks mussels winkles all back up to london right and then they come back here frozen and there usually is it's gone there's usually a cockle shop just there where you'll buy the most expensive shellfish Right now, I've come to Wales for one reason and one reason alone, because French's, this place, fish and chip shop, that has been here since well over 100 years, 1921. Fish and chips since 1921. Now, I left my notes in the car as per normal, but that does give me um, the opportunity to, to read that when I'm in the car, when I ride up the coastline. But a hundred years of fish and chips and four generations of the same family, they have now won one of the most prestigious awards for literally the best fish and chips, not just there in Norfolk, in the country. So I, oh, well, we are hiring now for seasonal serving staff. Oh, I'll see if I can get a job. I'm going in. It's busy. Busy. Good day. How are you, darling? You all right? Yeah, you are? I have come to try award-winning cotton chips. It's good? Yeah. Yes? Now, you're cooking to order? Get a cod. Wicked. <laughs> now, I am going to try. So I have been in earlier. Staff are a little bit nervous, you know. Cam people with cameras, and now I'm quite used to it. Um, I am talking to a black box on the end of the stick. It, it's okay, but other people just don't want to be on camera. Uh, I understand it because I used to be like that. I used to be. So I have, how much is award-winning cotton chips going to cost me? Eleven pounds fifty. Whoa. Okay. I think. Like I said, I'm at North Norfolk. I dare not go any further north. Wallet, Wallet wouldn't have it. I think Wallet can handle. I don't know. Come on, you ain't got the money. Uh, you take card, darling? Yeah. Wow. Well, you got a fiver in the wallet. 
<laughs> Wallet, Wallet knew where I was coming. <laughs> Allow me any more. Was it just on here? Yeah, just on here. There. Okay. 37. 37. About five minutes. All right, I'll get a number. Number 39. Number 39, all right. So there's only two people before me. All right, and I'll just sit here and wait for you to call my number. Yeah. All right, darling, thank you. Cheers. Oh, but now that, that, that's them opening there, so I'm putting the salt and vinegar on. Okay. Salt and vinegar station is somewhere. Okay. Just on the gates of the wall. Over there, yes, everything. Okay. Be back in a sec. Now, that is a decent looking bit of fish. There's one has made his way to the salt and vinegar station. You can't have fish and chips without salt and vinegar. And I like lots of vinegar. I do. Look at that. Plenty of vinegar. Wicked. <laughs> right. Fork. <laughs> I'm out here, guys. I am. Interesting. People are enjoying their fish and chips. And try and get out without dropping them. Whoa! Right! <laughs> Back to the horse, the car, the wagon. If I can, I'm gonna, I've got to get in the wagon, guys, right? I've got to, because it's so cold out here. The fish and chips will probably go cold straight away. So if I literally, I'll get in the wagon, right? Give us a minute. Give us a minute and I'll set my dash cam up. One, 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 one. All right, I ain't got the dash cam. <laughs> oh, I, haven't, I don't know what I've done with the fitting, the fixture. But I got out of that wind, that's the main thing. I've got a safe place to come and vlog. No background music, unless I put my keys in and play a bit of Tom Jones. <laughs> I bought a Tom Jones CD from the charity shop this morning where I met one of my subscribers. I did, in the chat, well, I was in the charity shop. So guys, this is how good are these award-winning fish and chips. Now that is a big bit of fish, and that is the most expensive fish and chip I've ever paid for, but that is crispy. I can feel that's crispy batter. Mm. That is good. That is very, very good. That is crispy yet moist and it is cooked well through they are cooking to order today mm. i did find it a bit strange lots of people in there all giving me funny looks and everything doing my vlogging everybody's english all around me and all understand what i'm saying they all look at me like i'm a bit weird and that in it is it's like when I'm in Asia, the whole concept of vlogging and talking to the box on the stick is quite normal. Um, but it, it, back here in the UK, it's a bit weird. And uh, I can feel all the... Um, that's, why, that's why it felt a bit weird filming in there, guys. It, I don't know how it came across to you on the camera, um, but that, that was just how I was feeling. But nice people in there, the girls, and they, they were quite nice. It's like... Um, that, that is so... Mm. Chips have been double fried. They have. Now, double fried chips is the way forward. Some chippies triple fry them. And so what that creates is soft chips on the inside, soft potato or mushy, but with a crisp exterior. Them chips are spot on. They are. Oh, mate. So I am going to run on. I will find my... Notes. <laughs> but before I do that, I'm going to have a right good tuck in because, seriously, guys, that is a world wishing fish and chips. It's really good. Mm. And £11.50, the price. For this area, for there, and I suppose you could sit in for the same amount. It's not bad. It's not a bad price today. I mean, and it is a big bit of fish, and it is cod. So it's 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 um, 
premier fish and chips. It's awesome. Thumbs up. Right, give me a second. Bugger, bugger, where are my notes? Uh, um, um, ba -ba 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 -um. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. The US feared the, wor feared the worst if China would take over the independent Lao. General, it's not the right, it's not the right bit of scripture, is it? No, no, what is it there? 50,000 Hamong tribe to fight against the North Vietnamese along the Ho Chi Minh. No. Ah, oh. box D, custom action man, two times marks Indians. No, that's not it. Where is it? Box A, Tamiya model kits, glow in the dark road. No, that's not it. <laughs> Where is it? It's not in there. Look, 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 I'm looking for me notes of what I wrote about French's finest fish and chips and the award winning thing. All I can find. Oh, North Norfolk, Wales. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Right. I've got it. Hang on. I've got to eat these fish and chips. Oh, I'll tell you what, how good they are. Look, that is. I've been eating it. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Oh, hang on. Let me get out. Oh, we can. We can. We're a wag. I was wearing got glasses on. <laughs> I'm trying to drive with reading glasses. Oh, that'd be fun. That really would. No oh, man, all these lobster pots. I tell you what, Wales. I will be back to make a vlog about Wales. Oh, well, it's a cool place. Maybe in the summer when it's heaving and it's packed. Might even rent a boat out. It's just beautiful just watching or just looking. All these boats and ships right there in the stafe. Right. I'm on this road just showing them Chroma Road. I don't know. <laughs> beautiful sunshine in my eyes. Whilst I try and decipher my text, North Norfolk, winners. What is it? Wales, French's Fish and Chips. Wins National Fish and Chip Award. Prestigious award celebrating the best of the best around the country. Award has been running for 30 years. I have. I don't want to miss a turn in. I can't see. Good fun though, this is, bro, is it legal? Am I, I don't know the laws in the UK, I've, um, and I'm actually videoing myself. Am I videoing myself, putting myself in jeopardy for what I'm doing? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. That cold is really, really good. I mean, really good. So also, hang on, someone stopped in the middle of the road. No indicators or nothing. All right, get the odd one. Yeah, do. Right, don't go into the back of the cars. The Chippy won the Quality Accreditation Champion category. That's, that's what they won. Selling fish and chips for over 100 years. Opened by William Thomas French in 1921. And as you can see, they're quite proud of that with the plaque on the outside. Well, right, it's nothing coming, hopefully. I kind of can see everything's blurred there, but I can see here. Four generations later, the, ch the chippy is still run by the same family. It is. Comments from oh, uh, the newspaper's website. Okay, so there, there's a North Norfolk News runner website. And they put the comments. So did they do, all right, did the uh, people, did they do every fish and chip shop in Britain? Good question. Probably not. Definitely, oh, definitely not due to the rude service. Someone's wrote that. I thought the service was pretty cool. The girls were quite nice. So there you go. In real life, in real terms, uh, that, that was all right. 
just that the people were a little bit nervous because some guys walked in with a camera um, and it's not the normal thing and um, you're like, oh man, and they haven't been fluffed up like me. I've had two hours in makeup and that, getting all fluffed up, ready to come on scene. So, so no, that, that, I, I would um, rub that one out. But also two people wrote in and said, yes, most definitely deserved. Um, I, I haven't tried any other fish and chips, so um, I can't be the judge of that, but I can tell you, they oh, are yeah, really good fish and chips. That is so succulent, and it's still red hot. It's been some time now since I bought it. Mm. Um. Mm. That batter is still crispy, and I did have that polystyrene lid, so I haven't steamed. That is that is really good. That is that is a, a really puck a bit of fish, and the chips, they're still good, and they're still hot. They haven't gone cold. Which sometimes in this bleak wind, mm. and that vinegar soaked in now, so they're proper squidgy. And also, hang on, got on the right side of the road, Mr. King. There's traffic coming. Also, someone said, as a final comment, I'll take these off so I can see. Someone said, I thought the chippy in Glastonbury won that award. Well, it might have been. Might be a different award, mate, isn't it? You know, there's more than one body giving out awards. So, riding along in my automobile. Lovely. Mm. Watching me shove fry stuff in the trap. Oh, man, really good. So now... My next destination may be Blakeney, Blakeney Point. I don't know if I'll be stopping. I don't know if the seals, usually the, the, the seals are pupping right now. Um, these are the wonderful things of springtime, you know. I mean, it's life begins in springtime, then everything opens up. Start living again, you know, after the, win the dullness of the winter months. That is weak. See, lovely clear skies. And the roads, even though they're narrow, um, there's not many cars on the road. There's a car in front, car behind, and that's it. Mm. Oh, wow. Just driving through Stiffkey. I am a flint, stone flint village, about five miles <clears throat> heading south from Wells. Just a wicked. But it is just such a cool little village with a narrow road going through it. So you can probably see either side. Um, but the reason I wanted to point stiff gear out is even the red telephone box. I don't think it's operational. No. Oh man, they've got all these flint walls. Some of them are actually quite new. Little stiff gear stores. <laughs> but stiff gear, oh man, it is nice. These little bends, country lanes, old ladies driving Land Rovers. It is cool, man. There's an antique and collector's fair at Blakeney Village Hall this Sunday. If you're in the area, could be worth a visit. I've got other vlogs I'm making Sunday. Um, I thought today would be the best day because it's Fry Day. And traditionally, on a Friday, you eat fried fish. So that was why I did this today on Friday. Now, along these banks, Stiffkey is well known for, it used to be, Sampha. Now, you all know Sampha, that green seaweed, that's like, it's just awesome. Used to be 60 pence a kilo. And restaurants started using it. Become quite popular. Now, it's about, now, I think it's six pounds, a pound now. Um, but it grows all along these banks through through Stiffkey, and they actually have sand for walls over it. People who have been picking it for years have now been outpicked by other people. They get up at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning to come to Stiffkey when it's sand for season to pick all the sand for. Uh, they do, so they get the most for it. And that there, that's not a lake. These aren't reservoirs. This is all flood water. There is a dike, a ditch, but that, if you can see it to my right, that is all flood water. It's where, what is it, February? I said it before, I'll say it again. Was the warmest, wettest 
February on record. That's one off and Josh in the house. One of them was. <laughs> All right, what music have we got on the radio? What have we got? Tom Jones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, look where you're going on these narrow roads. I ain't on a motorbike, am I? I got four wheels in a car. I can't. I can't. Oh. <laughs> oh the Manor Coastal Hotel and Inn. This is a wicked looking village. Again, I'm just on this road. As you can see, <laughs> I've got a duck pond. That's wicked landscape duck pond. Right there. And then right here, I'm at Blakeney, Blakeney Point. <clears throat> and all on the sand dunes right out there where you can walk your dog, all along there, is where you'll find the seal pups being delivered. Birthing, being born. What a wicked little pond. Oh, and that wind is kicking up. So hopefully me wind defender is working on me mic. I've just parked in the Manor's car park. Wicked stone flint. I mean, this new, that's old. Ah, Cause as you know, Norfolk was full of flint mines. Brandon, I think, which is on the Norfolk Suffolk border, supplied most of the flint in all these old stone buildings that were built. And he got a bit of a mound with a flagpole at the top. You don't often see many mounds around Norfolk, but look at this. It is bleak. It's, it's cold, that wind is blowing, but this is springtime. Okay, cars including blue badge holders, six quid. It's not bad to park your car on a car park, right there. I didn't feel the need to spend six quid, no. <laughs> so I parked on the car park up there, where I could get a ticket, I don't know. I'll go back, depending on how I feel. Feeling a bit squiffy, I might add. Might have had the ending in the boozer. I don't know. You know what? I've never ever stopped at Blakeney in all the time I've lived in Norfolk. That like, wicked. Why like, do you like that 30 odd foot yacht right there? Ah, oh, I'm just sitting waiting for the tide to come in so it can sail away. That's the dream. That is the dream. At the end of the day, I one day we'll sail away. I will. <laughs> oh man. Looking at a ramen boat right now. <laughs> That's a boat street yacht. With regards to revenue. But you know. Oh, it is. And what, what you get, right? You go out, you've got all these bishops' boats, seal trips to Blakeney Point. You can't actually get there. Now, I've got good intentions. I brought the drone and I was going to fly the drone out. So we're here, right? And the seals are there. And where that wind is 30 mile an hour, I'm, I'm off to Clay next to sea, next there. Clay Windmill, that's where I want to go. Uh, that's next on there, but uh, opening soon at Easter. Times and Bookman's now available. Um, so I think they are running. They may just, like I say, the seals. How oh, you go out in a boat, look, you'll see all the seals. Um, but mostly, when that go on, the old lifeboat, oh, so usually all along here, hundreds of them. Ah, it just looks different now I'm here. To what I thought I'd be doing. You've got bean seal trips as well, look. Oh man. Oh man. So you can, boats go from Morris and Quay, not here. Oh, Monday, Wednesday, it's times as well. If you want to come out, this is the time of year and watch these seals pupping or, or fight. I think that's what they're doing. I think they're giving birth to the babies right now. A nice little boat there, look. Now, on a windy day like this, I don't think I'd want to be sitting around there going out into that boat. Trip start Easter 2024. See you in April. Okay. Okay, they're finished for the season. They'll be back in April. So that is, I'm a little bit premature. I am. I'm not often premature. No, I'm usually a little bit late. So there you go. Full information. And I do, I just love these keys. Just wicked. But oh, I can tell that <laughs> wind. 30 mile an hour, cold wind. I told you today, or I knew today, would be bleak, but I knew the sunshine would be shining through. And when them winds drop, we're gonna be pretty close to summer. I'll predict 
before the end of, what are we in, March? About the 6th or 7th, no, it's the 8th today. It's March the 8th, I think, Friday. I looked on the computer screen before I left. I did. So I predict, get your summer gear ready. Because <laughs> in two weeks, three weeks, and made local crafts. <laughs> Let's have a look. Blakeney Guildhall. So what is it? Quality art and crafts. <laughs> really? It's like a junk shop. Um, do I go in? Will they allow me? I don't know. No. It looks full of junk. <laughs> it's a like, like charity shop. <laughs> oh, man. Caught my eye for a second. But no, it's just full of rubbish. Nothing in there for me. Got a bakery. Two mad plus bakery. Wicked. You probably tell I'm frizzed. I am. But in about two weeks from today, I predict heat wave. I do. I've only got gents. Look at that. That's proper, proper old little village with toilets that you can go to. Don't get that in Norwich. You don't get public toilets much anywhere today. What a wicked pond. Great big, can like I say? It's got that bleakness. I can feel when that wind drop, you can feel the temperature and the sunshine. No clouds. Typical, typical spring day. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> oh, I've got my whisker on. I've got my thingy on. I'm getting that car. I'm starting to run. Oh, I'll get my motor and put the heating on. Oh, mate. <laughs> Can you imagine doing this on the Lambretta? <laughs> nah. Nah. Pop, let's have a look at the man. A quick look, 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 look. Man, that looks awesome. This is. It's a hotel, man, a hotel bar entrance. How nice is this? Proper Norfolk. Again, all the Flintstone. Man, it's all very well kept and very well done. The floorboards. They, they, this this ain't Thailand, people. This ain't all patchwork and a bit there and a bit there. No, this is how things are done properly. Proper, look at it. It's wicked. It's so cool on the inside as well. Nice artwork. That is a nice. <laughs> oh, that's so inviting. That really is. Cool. Reception. Look at these old Yorkstone slabs. All there. They have been there since Victorian times. This building has retained. Oh, man. That is cool. Look at these. Man, they're real. They won't be getting them tossed today. Oh, that is proper gear, proper furniture. Good day, darling. Are you the proprietor or are you just delivering flowers? Room, yeah. Okay. What is through their living room? Is there a reception? Uh huh, have a look. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. My wallet started to squeak though. <laughs> the chandelier. Wallet says, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> How cool is that, aren't they? You can rent some wellies, so you can go walking. Oh man, and the map showing you doggy tails for muddy paws. Mate, that is so good. Hello, darling, you all right? Yeah, fine. Do you work here? Um, I do, yes. It's, it's a wicked place. Has, that, has it been um, renovated recently, or has it, has it been ago. about a year ago? Sure. A of okay, no, it looks good. I like it, I like it, it's proper. Cheers, darling, have a nice day. Cheers. Oh, wicked. So, has had proper renovation about a year ago, but it's retained all its original character. I like that. That was nice. Nice. Proper tradition. Still winning through. Wicked, right. Oh, man, let's get, let's get in. Let's get in for a warm-up. <laughs> all righty. I have a little bit warmer. I was heading off that way to... Ah, where my next destination is going to be, but from my driver's side window, I saw this. It took my eye out. Now you know I like junk. You know that. Now I know these old crates used to be full of sandstone. So look, a whole yard of clobber and gear, of antiques, your old bread. Oh, look at that. That's your old Hobus bike. Got all these customer parking here, all these concrete items. Just having a wicked look. All reclaimed, some refurbished work branches from 20 quid. Man, this is all right, all these old chains there. And you've probably got your seafood, 
what I was talking about. That probably goes up on the thing uh, during the season up on the beach there. There's an old caravan. Oh man, there's just all. Oh, oh man, this old tin bath, mate. That's got to be the biggest tin bath. Ah oh, man, wicked stuff. And of course you've got old roof tiles, bricks. And here there's some nice bricks and roof tiles. This is all good money. Even old kayaks in here. Old, oh mate, look at that. That old tin plate. That's cool, man. All this stuff. So I did add a little chat with a lady in there. And she said she don't mind me filming. This old park bench. Man, these workbenches. Oh, look at them. They are a wicked whole collection of them old army petrol tins. You can get a few wheels. Mate, this is stuff is awesome. If you've got a bit for half 650 quid, wow, well, that's probably for the pair. But I tell you what, they're, they're Victorian. They are, I believe. I believe. Um, it's just awesome. Look at all this old metal gear. It is superb. Just to see all this, this Woody would love that in the garden. That, that is awesome. It's got the colour, it's got the age, it's got everything. Got really cool stuff. I didn't know I'd be vlogging in a junkyard. I was like, look, look, man, them Vespa frames. Man, they're Vespers. The side panels have been cut down. So we got one, two, three. Look at that. That is really cool. If you want a Vespa, they are Vespa. That one's had the leg shields cut down as well, look. Crazy stuff, old Castrol tin. <laughs> that is awesome. That is a proper bit of kit, man. That's been turned in to perhaps a light. Don't know. Oh man, these chairs. Could get some cushions made. Woody, if you're watching this vlog, oh son, you know where I am. This is weird, I've never been in, never seen this before. I say these old lights, they have just got so much reclaimed gear. There's so much of it that is of an interest. I mean, they've got old push bikes, old new push bikes, lawn mowers, <laughs> old steel bed. It's just wicked gear in here, we've probably got newer stuff. Chair up, just short of chairs, there's a few chairs here. Mate, there's an old tin plate Coca-Cola bucket. Man, that is proper stuff. Even this old gas canister, it's probably still in there. All in there, all tin plate. <laughs> old scales from weighing out your sweeties. There's cool stuff in there. It's more, look, there's masses. Saddlery, lights, tables, bedding. Man, it's a proper, proper junk shop. Antiquey junk shop. That's really cool. Oh man, I'm so glad I stumbled. I mean, all them porcelain dogs. Wicked. Dogs. I'm really glad I now stumbled into this place because this, man, that, man, these fireplaces. That's so cool. Look at that. That is awesome. It's another one. Very heavy, but look. That is, that's the real deal, that is. That's proper gear. Proper gear. Man, I've seen the sewing machines. There is more, there's another quiet, got old floorboards. These are all brilliant for a bit of salvage. They really are. Now I'm looking around because I just want to avoid getting people, all this stuff here, and all these street lamps. They can all be rebedded in. Oh man, look at them, they just need re-lamping at the tops, but they, they can be rebedded into your multi-million air um, building. They are so cool. They are so cool. Oh man, got more old bikes there. <laughs> more old mangles, rusted gear, I love it. All this rusted up stuff just looks brilliant in the garden and just let the world grow over it. Vintage bikes, worth a few quid, no doubt. A little bit past it, a little bit knackered, but someone's artistic sink. That is cool. There's cool stuff in here. That's really good. And there is much, much more. Oh, there's an old bike there, but that was it. Oh man. Another little room of junk. Hang on, I'm putting that at me. Got all your crockery and stuff. Oh man, perhaps past its sell by date, but you never know. You might just find something that you like. <laughs> yeah, mine. Oh, that's wicked. Wicked. What a cool spot. Cool place to find. Nice. What is that? A nice sink. That is. They go for well. They, they go for about hundred quid. Might get it for 50. Our workbench there. Woody, you'll need that, mate, for your shed when we clear it. You yeah, will. Look at that plow. Man. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Really cool stuff. That is it. 
Ladies, thank you very much. Pleasure. Have a nice day. Ma uh, what article? Tony Two Sheds. And are you online? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's just kind of a hobby bit. We're on Instagram. You are? Okay, on Instagram. So, so people Tony want Two Sheds Norfolk. Yes, okay. Brilliant. I hope people find you. Thank you very much. Wicked. Thank you. Nice of those ladies to let me look around. Right, guys, I'm going to get warmed up in the car and head off to Clay. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I am in Clay. Not clay, it is clay next to sea. It is. Hi, oh, ladies. All laughing, sharing them. Whoa! <laughs> that, oh, that's a Bentley. That is. That is. Now, you probably guess, like I said, it's North Norfolk. You need a bit of toot to be about here. You do. You need a lot more than a bit of toot. You do. So I have stopped at clay next to sea. Always called it clay. Young lady in there. Salvage yard just told me it's Clyde. Nice ladies there. What a wicked yard. There's hardly any price tags on any of that stuff because it's all, I guess, negotiable. Oh, good. Is food in there good? It's good boozer? Oh, you haven't eaten? Just just drinks? Yeah. Okay. It looks nice. It does look nice, darling. And it looks really cool over there, yeah. Cool. Boozer, Georgian Dragon, just there on the right. Now, that is the boozer. And as I've now walked up, they actually have a little outside area here. You try to avoid my camera. Yeah, you're all right, darling. That's my job. Cheers. Hello. Oh, you want to be on camera? <laughs> some do, some don't. It's hard work. <laughs> Trying to decipher where to stick the camera. Oh man, nice bit of sandstone, look. But they hadn't done the pointing properly. Nah, look, it's all grown through. I forgot to point it. Or... Oh. They used something that shrunk. Ah, it's a shame. That sandstone's a bit of a mess. What have we got over here? Whoa. Old Georgian wall. As we look. Oh, man. <laughs> Who don't love the Norfolk Broads? That's just awesome. That is awesome. As you go right out to that Norfolk coastline. Man, it's cool, right? It is. This North Norfolk coast, we're on their heading now. Clay, I've actually parked in a car park where the windmill is. Because that's the next little bit of this vlog um, that I want to make. Look at that. Man, oh, man, look at that. That's like straight out of a movie or something. The parish house. That is awesome. Who wouldn't want to live in a cool place like that? It is. It is. Oh. It buzzes me up. I like, I like all this traditional. I like how it's kept. I like how all of it is done. Even though it's nice. It's proper. Man, all this old York stone. Original building, all that archway. That's centuries old. Cool. Clay. Clay. Weddings, boutique and private hire. Man. I'm just down here. So I've got to say, guys, I am enjoying my day out along the Norfolk coast. Even though I've ridden around here on my motorbike or my Lambretta or whatever, I've never actually stopped at any of these places and spent any time. The only place I have stopped has been at Wells to either have some fish and chips. I have eaten in that fish and chip shop a good few times before. Oh, but now they've won the war. So much tastier. And look, that is the cly next to sea, windmill. You've got this little dyke, look. A lady with comfortable shoes, right there. Where you can park your little boats, yachts. That water is pretty clear, right? That'll be brackish water. Obviously tidal, going out to the massive sea, right there. And you've got a floodgate right there to stop this area flooding if you've got high tides coming in. But Cly, windmill. Now, it is a and b bed and breakfast. It is a hotel. But the most fascinating fact about this windmill is it used to belong to the family of James Blunt. It did. Now, James and his sister, they were a bit tearaways. They used to run ragged round this Clyde village all them years ago. 
uh, when they lived there. They did with their music and that. They'd be even running horses ragged all around here and no one liked them, so they got run out. They got run out of the village and had to send, sell the windmill. They did. That's a true story, that is. <laughs> the Clyde windmill. So I'm going in. There's a number there, if you're interested. Because I believe, if you like the look of North Norfolk, of where I've been today, this time, I mean, come next week, it could be really cool. The old cart shed, the boathouse. Oh, man, these are the places you will stay. Oh, man, the div, what is it, the dovecote? They're all different ro r rooms. Hey, you probably rent, I don't know if I'd rent a platinum room. How much is it to stay a night in the platinum room, please? And there's, oh, man, there's more. There's more. Okay, there's a marquee. I've helped myself. Oh, man, do a little walk around. Okay, you could probably stay here. Now we've gone back to Thailand, didn't we? It has. You can rent a shed. You can. You can come and stay in a shed in the windmill. They've got all right gardens. Oh, man, they're probably, like I say, they're having banquets. So they've probably got one planned. Oh, man, for here. Not a bad place for a banquet, is it? It's just a chilly wind. Oh man, it was all right, but it looks good. Stay. <laughs> you going? No. Banquet room. <laughs> I hope there's no camera. Post. I'll get in trouble. You can't do this in England. You can't do it. It's all right in Thailand. Can't do it here. You'll have like two policemen at the front door when I come out. I will. I'll be banged up for life for doing that. And you can hang on coast path. To Cly Beach. Oh man, you get some dog walking bags. I like this, up them little steps, and that'll take you to the beach. You will need some Wellingtons or rubber boots, because I bet it's probably a bit damp. Right, give me a second. I'm just gonna ask residents, no smoking beyond this point, please, residents only, no smoking, reception. Coast Park, okay, so I just gotta ask reception if I can film on the inside. We're inside, and this is the manageress, <laughs> Laura, Hi. who's it's really cool. She's going to show us around after you, darling. And James, it's true, it was owned by James Blunt's family, and Laura is actually now going to show me where James Blunt used to live. Now, is it true he used to terrorise the town with his wild <laughs> antics with his sister? I've heard a few stories. I'm a few. Say how true they are. Oh, okay. So you just watch your step in your head. Okay. So, yeah, look at the look. It's a nice old building. Beautiful doors. Here's the architect. Look at the squeaky. Look at these doors. They've got low beams. Squeaky. Oh, man. It's really cool. Going in here. Wow. Wow. How wicked. Oh, man. A oh, no, wood burner. Yeah. Wood burner. That's a fridge? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And look at these massive beams. This is, how old is it? 17th? They're not entirely sure, but at least 200 years. 200 years old. Oh, man. And that is, could you tell, how much is it for one night? Uh, about 200 pounds. About 200 quid a night. And that includes breakfast? Yes. It do. Okay. Is that a comfy bed? That's, that is firm, but comfy. <laughs> that is, that's, I've been in Thailand for over two years. Hey, I haven't felt a bed like that. Man. <laughs> no, no, that's uh, Arabic cotton, is it? No. no, I ain't got Egyptian cotton. No, that is a comfy bed. You sit there and watch TV with your wood burner on. That is really nice. Thank you. You're welcome to have a look at the balcony. Yeah, 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 wicked. Awesome. That makes my day, my people. Oh man, I like to show me around. I know, it's blustery, I know. 30 mile hour gales, darling. <laughs> oh, well, you can feel that. That is the bleakness of springtime. You've got the sun, you've got that wind, that'll go. But that, that's what it makes you feel alive. Oh, yeah. It do. It does. It gives you that Norfolk. This is what Norfolk people feel. And if I don't know if you can see right out where the sea is, right across these marshes, there are walks all along with solid. And that that is... Um, Oh, is that? That's in case high water. It's tidals, is it? Yes, yeah, block. Floodgates. Yeah. Floodgates. And they say, yeah, the whole of Clyde. Cl it's called Clyde, not Clay. Yeah, Clyde. Okay, wicked. Right, now we better get back in. <laughs> That's superb. Really cool place to stay on a spring day. So there you go, guys. There it is. 
if you're planning a wee vacation or a visit to Norfolk, you can come and stay in a proper old windmill. You can go and visit Wells and have the best fish and chips. You can go to the junk shop and do a bit of shopping. And you can just have some brisk, long walks. Oh, man. And stay in a really cool place. And that's what I like about springtime, because now it's, it's not so busy, is it? No, you, no, it's lovely. Quiet. You get busy yeah. in the summer. Yes. Summertime is kind of packed and yeah, tough go, to book. Yeah, go zero to hundred there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Right, that was Laura. Yes. Yeah, Laura. Appreciate you showing me around, darling. That's You're cool. Welcome. That's your dining area. Yes. And it is all really nice. And it's just traditional, old English, proper Norfolk coastline. Oh, they do. It's brilliant. Oh man. Laura, enjoy your day, darling. Yes, you too. So, you're vlogging a dead horse is my channel. Okay. With a V. Right. This will be on tomorrow. Oh, perfect. Hey, wicked. I'll have to give it a look. Cheers. Thank you. Brilliant. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. How kind. Man, look at this, man. That is these proper old, solid doors. It's about four inches thick. Gardener's been doing a bit of work, collecting a bit of wood for the wood burner. Oh, man, look at this. It's just lovely to see not just for me but for you too and like i say if you're planning a proper holiday or a little visit one or two days want to escape the hustle and bustle of where you're living surviving you can come oh, wow it's a place like this it's not going back in time proper traditional english countryside it's right here, in my neighbourhood. That was weird. So you have, you have a causeway, a slipway access to keep clear because these boats will want to go out to the sea. That's cool. Right. It's got to be happy ending time, right? Got to be. Come on. I'll feed the cows. I have, look, that be there. Oh! <laughs> Oh man, I am. What a wicked vlog. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making that vlog. And just look at my... Oi, 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 not yet. Look <laughs> these. Oi, ow, ow, ow. Oi, you, you, whitey, blacky, out. Out of it. The one on the left is whitey, the one on the right is blacky. They're easy to tell. They are the love cats, out. They are bad, because they're after. Ow, oh, look, they're coming, look. Look, they love. Right, look, look I'm eating me chips. No, no, triple fry, I couldn't eat them all, they give me masses. Hang on, can we get that lovely view of the sun? <laughs> look, look, my mammals, my animals, my Frisian cows. These chips are not double fried, they're now triple fried. And they're good, but oh, the final taste challenge, right? Come on then, you two. Are you going to eat these chips? You're having a bit of a sniff. Snifter. They are warm. They're hot. All right, he's found a little bit of fish. Oh, man. And away. Now they're a little bit hot, but he's got a trip. <laughs> I'll just heat them up. I could actually eat them. They're pretty good. But we have to have the final taste challenge from these two monsters. Because they're really fussy, the two, my two kittens, my young calves, my young Frisian, they're not mine, they're not even Woody's, they're next door cats. <laughs> well, they get neglected, so we have to look after them. They will, they'll eat them when they get cold, I'm sure they will. So, oh, it's happy ending time. Cheers, everyone. Mm. He's going, look, they have a chip, you just got to cool them down. So that'll be there, that cold, fresh air, it's blowing right across. That'll soon cool down. Have you seen cats eat chips before? Oh, uh, have you? Uh, look, look, look. Oh, they are, they, these cats. How good are them chips, cats? They good? Oi. Wow. Meow. Are they good or bad? They're getting no answer. I reckon. They're enjoying <laughs> the chips as much as what I did. Oh. A wicked little day. So um, that's quite a long drive back from North Norfolk back to uh, Butnwell. But it is that wicked countryside for me to sit, enjoy 
me tea. They do. They, they, they can't even wait for it to cool down. Look, they're stuck right in there. I wish I'd write a few more, but it is what it is. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is a tasty cup of tea. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Big thanks for staying to the end. <laughs> Just see the look at them. They, they are like look, they're well away now. Look, they've cooled down in the wind. They can't get enough of them. They are the chip monsters. I've never given chips before. They eat, they, they eat just about anything you give them, by the way. They ate sprouts the other day. New potatoes with butter and...